Japan mourns his death. The investigation into the assassination of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe continues. Investigators are now learning more about the suspect and what he allegedly did the day before. Bob Woodruff reports. Tonight, we're learning more about the possible motive in the shocking assassination of the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Police say 41-year-old Tetsuya Yamagami, a former member of the Japanese Navy, confessed to killing Abe during a campaign event Friday and that he planned the attack for about a year and reportedly had planned to use an explosive. But in order to target only Abe instead of a large group, he decided to use a gun instead. Japanese media also reporting that the gunman allegedly decided to attack attack Abe after watching a video message Abe sent to his mother's church, which the gunman blamed for her financial ruin. That church, a controversial group called the Unification Church, known in the U.S. as the Moonies, named after their founder, Sun Myung Moon. But the Unification Church said there is no record of asking the suspect's mother for large donations. Authorities also acknowledge security failures and are investigating how the gunman was able to get so close to Abe allegedly firing two shots from a homemade gun seen here, two barrels bound together with black tape. The suspect reportedly telling police he learned how to build guns from videos posted online. Now, local media reports that the suspect allegedly test fired his homemade guns in the mountains and actually attended another Abe campaign event the day before the assassination. Bob Woodruff, ABC News, Tokyo. A private wake for Abe was held today in Tokyo. A public memorial service is expected at a later date. Now, within the last hour, the hearse carrying Abe's body has reached the prime minister's office in Tokyo, according to a live televised broadcast. The hearse was received by members of the Japanese government, including the current prime minister, Abe's brother, and the defense minister. And new at 9, Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi signed a book of condolences today at the Consulate General of Japan in Honolulu. Blangiardi said, quote, the death of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is a devastating blow to those around the world who admired his principles when it came to leadership and democracy. Blangiardi also passed along a condolence letter to Council General Aoki. On the Big Island, residents are encouraged to send messages of solidarity in memory of Shinzo Abe. Hawaii County is hosting a Books of Condolences. The books can be found at the office of the mayor in Hilo and Kona until Friday, and the public is encouraged to comment. Next week, the books will be delivered to the Consul General of Japan in Honolulu, then sent to Japan to be stored for Abe's family. The last time the county of Hawaii hosted books of condolences for Japan was in 2011, when the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami killed thousands.